Good morning and welcome to the uh, Mass on Thursday within the Office of Easter and the uh, special intention uh, for this Mass is for the uh, birthday of Joseph Carrot. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our <coughs> sin and so prepare our soul for the <coughs> sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, yes. and Amen. on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good good we, we praise peace. you. Peace. We bless you. We Amen. adore you. We glorify Amen. you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confession your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Act of the Apostle. As a crippled man who has been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurry in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You, children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power of pity? The gods of Abraham, the gods of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, have glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence. When he had decided to release him, you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer would be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead, and this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through us has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did, but God has the brought to fulfillment what he has announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ will suffer. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed to you Jesus whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet may be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, 
You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors. When he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to some <clears throat> is, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. O Lord our Lord, O Lord our Lord, how cl glorious in your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hand, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name throughout the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, with the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swim the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciple of Jesus recounted what has, had, has taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your heart? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is my eye myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said it, he showed them his hands and his feet, while they were still impregnous for joy and was amazed. He asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything writing about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ will suffer and raise from the dead on the third day, and was and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nation, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your heart? The disciples did not recognize God around them because of many things happened to them. And they, when Jesus just came, they thought that's the ghost so that they cannot even recognize the peace that Jesus just gave to them. So Jesus just tell them, why are you troubled? Why do questions arise in your heart? And perhaps those questions should come up to us right now during this, this difficult time when sometimes we, because of everything around us, that we don't even recognize the presence of God, that we cannot experience the presence of God within us. So if we cannot see everything, uh, every good thing by our eyes, then close our eyes and remember the picture that Jesus just appeared with all the people today. And he said, the Son of Man will suffer. But throughout that suffer, he just go and heal the world. So let us also carry the suffering 
that we are with Him, to be with Him, and to follow Him, so that we can always remain in His peace, the peace that Jesus just come and tell His disciples as well as to us. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruits of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. I will accept the sacrifice hands for your praise and glory of esteem for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn, and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live up your heart. You lift them up to the Lord. Like give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yes more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb, who has been who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joys, every land, every people, as those in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angels' hopes, sing together, then end in him of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave us to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray, the particle of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Calvin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, 
and other saints who have preached you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At a saver command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory is yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not Lord, worthy that you should Lord. enter under my roof, but only say the words that my soul shall be healed. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. Let us pray. He is, O oh Lord, our prayer, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your health in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning out here. Uh, so enjoy it, get a little exercise. Uh, get a little fresh air and be, be safe. Today uh, we have Jesus and the Apostles and a uh, couple things uh, food-wise. Most of the time they have uh, the breaking of the bread which we certainly remember in the Eucharist. However today we had a piece of uh, cooked fish uh, it was also a reminder of us that uh, Jesus is uh, a sign of, of, as a fish. It's, a, it's an ancient sign. However, we can also remember that uh, today a uh, piece of cooked fish is almost like a good sushi meal. So obviously Jesus wanted to have a meal of sushi. At least that's my opinion. God bless all. Now let us pray together the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael? The Archangel, defend our battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray to you, thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. 
by the, the power, power of God, God thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the roots of souls. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass stand it. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant day, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs>